it's Anna from the Wine Society. Hidden away in sideboards across Australia, amongst wedding presents and unwanted 21st presents, you'll probably find one of these, a forgotten decanter. Now, the misnomer is that decanters are useful for decanting old red wines that are throwing a crust. Uh, but actually, they're fantastic for young, robust reds uh, that perhaps are a little bit sharp on the edges. The idea is to pour the wine into the decanter to get the air through it. So the oxygen will open up the wine and soften the harsh tannic edges of the wine. It'll give you a fast impression of what cellaring the wine would be. So agitate it quite vigorously, both directions. Then you leave that to settle for half an hour to an hour before you drink it. And you'll find that the red is considerably smoother than when you started. Sometimes I recommend a red wine to somebody and they say the first glass was just terrible, but the second was beautiful. And the reason is that the air has allowed the wine to soften. The other thing that happens is that the aromas start to gather in the bowl of the decanter and uh, you know, aromas 80% of your perception of the taste. Very, very important. Now, at home, we have an aerator. Uh, now, this is really interesting. The, the air goes through the wine as you pour it through the aerator, and it goes straight into the glass. You can also put the aerator into the neck of the decanter. And the same thing happens. The air oxygen goes through the wine and softens it for you. So. If you don't have a decanter, you can certainly use a jug, it'll do exactly the same thing. Um, if you don't have an aerator or a decanter, you can put the wine into the glass and gently swirl the wine, and this will allow the air to travel through that wine and soften it up.